I am content creator Lana DeRue. I empower women entrepreneurs by sharing natural wellness solutions on my show, Steps to Feel Good Daily with Lana. Hi, my name is Lana DeRue, and I am your host and content creator for the show. You are in the right place if you came to learn um, how to find your calm place quickly with clinical solution-based hypnotherapist, Haley Willoughby. Now I'll tell you a secret. I had her on the show once, but she was so awesome. I wanted to have her back because we um, have so much to learn from her and she's super awesome. So I always start my show with an oil and I thought this was kind of related to what we are gonna be learning from Haley today. And it is called Breathe Oil. And Breathe Oil, oh, actually, no, that's not the one I wanted to do. I wanted to do Shin Rin Roku. And the reason why I wanted to do that is it brings you to a place of peacefulness, stillness, relaxed, grounded, renewed, harmonious, and connected to nature. So before I bring Haley up from the green room, I am going to introduce her, tell her a little bit of, tell you a little bit about her. Haley Willoughby says, relaxing people is my jam. I can get people to calm to a calm place super fast. She is a clinical and solution-based hypnotherapist, NLP practitioner, and an EFT and TFT tapping practitioner. So without further ado, I am going to bring Haley up from the green room. Hi, Haley. <laughs> Hi, Lana. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. <laughs> nice to have you back on the show. I think you were my most watched show. Everybody fell in love with you. So I think this is really great to have you back. Um, and I know you've done some work on my son. I love what you do. But I wanted to, you had a, um, a daily wellness step. So would you like to tell us about it? It's W. SC. Yeah. I'm always a fan of acronyms so we can keep it simple. But yeah, it's basically you wipe off as if you were wiping on lotion and then wiping off the excess. Uh -huh. You're literally just wiping off anything that is from anybody else, any energy, any emotion, any thoughts, anything that's like come at you and you're ready to release and let go. So I wipe it off like that. And then I shake. So the S is shake. So you shake it. I don't know if you can see, but you're, you've got your hands out and you're like whitey gold. <laughs> and you're spreading it out and you're shaking off. And you do that several times until you just feel like, whoa, I feel lighter. I feel better. And then I also kick it off with my feet. I kick, kick, mm -hmm. kick as much as I want to and as much as I can. And I just feel playful when I do it. It brings in this playful element and you just feel better afterwards. And then the C is connect. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, because you said you get energies at night. So this is a way to shake off any energies that you might get during the night. Yeah. Energies meaning just, you know, like your family, they're, they're not always happy. Things aren't always as rosy as you want them to be. So when we have anger or sadness or like energy, everything is energy, right? And so that energy is just that emotion is just energy in motion. So I just use it that kind of a verb verbiage and I just shake all that energy off and it's not mine. That goes back to you. And I take my back, I take back my own power. I take back my authenticity. I center myself as I connect. So the C is connect. So uh -huh. you bring your hands up to the air and you just think about heaven connecting with you, whoever that is with you. And then you just allow that to be a color, that connection to be a color, whatever you feel. And it just brings it down into your body. And then you take your feet and you imagine roots going into the earth. 
and feeling that groundedness. Sometimes we feel a little flighty. And so that can help us feel a little more grounded and it clears the brain and you just feel so much better. So those that's my WSC that I do in the morning and at night. Okay. I love, I love that. Plus we have bad dreams and stuff like that. So it can just kind of help revive you in the morning. So you're saying take away what came through the day and then just yeah. if there was anything else so that you're feeling good. I love that. Okay. I have um, your share. I want to jump right into this and it's, you can use action Y affirmations to take affirmations to the next level Um level so our brains and bodies uh, remind us of why we are doing this. I think this is fabulous that you're saying this. So can you share with us what you mean by that and why? Yeah. So you've got different levels of affirmations and sometimes affirmations are not as effective as we want them to, because like, if you don't believe that you're beautiful and you say, I am beautiful. And then it feels like a lie. Like if I were to show you this really fast, uh -huh. I'll it's not going to, it's not going to come through that way, but yeah. So if you were to, it would bounce off the reticular activation system of your brain. It'd be like, Nope, I don't believe that you don't believe that. So it's not going in. Right. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we, we add something to it. So I, so let's say I am going to work out four to five times a week. Okay, great. You have a goal. You're going to work out four to five times a week but why? Right. But why? Mm -hmm. And so we add the reason to that affirmation and that's what makes it take the action into it. So we say, I'm going to work four to five times a week so that I, so it's the, the quotations and what's added is so that I can. And then you think, because I want to be with my grandkids. I want to have all the energy that I need to right. help my kids with their grand with their kids. Or I want to be able to feel healthy and feel energized when I wake up in the morning. These are the help you like the so that I is okay. is what I makes it an action why. I think that's awesome. And I, you know, I have always said, do your why until it makes you cry. So even when you're adding that affirmation and bringing that why in that's so powerful so that it makes you cry, it will help you to do it more, right? Yeah. You agree with that? Mm -hmm. No, I love, I love that. Yeah. It takes us to such an emotional level that it moves us to do something, right? <laughs> right. That's, that's the yeah. point, right? That's the point. Now, um, you were going to share with us also, this is your tip and it's emotional resilience tips. And these are steps. So if you can take us through these steps and I'll be your little guinea pig here. Oh, yay. I love okay. with you. It's so much fun. Yes. So, Alana, what would be yeah. the emotion that you want to do today? Um, I would say fear. I mean, I just think fear is something that is just exists in all of our lives at some level. Yeah. Okay. So fear. Mm -hmm. So then you're going to acknowledge the, we're going to tap. And so you're going to acknowledge the emotion and you're going to tap right here on your karate chop. Okay. Even though I'm experiencing. Even though I'm experiencing. This fear. This fear. I choose. I choose. To acknowledge. To acknowledge. And when I'm ready. And when I'm ready. I release it and let it go. I release it and let it go. Then you would repeat that two more times and then go here. Oh, this fear. Oh, this fear. And really just bring it to the surface. Oh, this oh. fear. Oh, this fear. <laughs> Going to the inner part of the eyebrow and to the outer. We only do five taps around per point. Oh, this fear. Oh, this fear. Oh, this fear. Oh, this fear. Okay, and so on a measuring of one to 10, where was your fear at before we started? I'd say it was a five. Okay, so we're gonna try and get it lower. You okay. could even get it down to a zero. Let's see if we can get mm -hmm. it down to a zero. Mm -hmm. Okay, so oh, this fear. Oh, this fear. And then I want you to just check and say, is it still fear or is it something else? Mm. Is it still fear or is it something else? 
Mm -hmm. um, it's still fear. Okay. Then we just continue. Oh, this fear. I'm oh, getting curious fear. about this fear. I'm really curious about this fear. Curious. Curious. Hmm. I'm mm -hmm. getting curious about this fear. I'm getting curious about this fear. <sighs> really do a sigh. <sighs> Good. And continue with fear 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 and then right here we have the k27s just rub them gently right here okay. and exhale out good and then tap underneath your arm like a monkey <laughs> Okay, now let's retest. Okay. Well, I felt the word peace come in as I was, it's like when I got to that second part and really acknowledged it, I think that uh -huh. peace came in. That's wonderful. Where, where is the fear? So it's at zero. You got it to a zero. Yeah. Lana, that's fantastic. That's interesting. Just by really acknowledging it, then it took me a couple of times because it didn't go through the first time. But when it came through, because then right when I got to about right here, the word peace came in my mind. Yeah. So oh, cool. good. <laughs> and that. that's what I love about tapping is it's very inner wisdom type. It's where mm -hmm. you get to come up with the answers within yourself as you connect with your, your just your inner wisdom. Now I have one quick question for the, for the tapping. I mean, is it, do, do these points absolutely have to be like in the right order or can you just kind of tap, you know what I mean? Cause you start here and then you go here and I've seen people do them in a little different ways, but is it, does it have to be exact? It doesn't have to be exact. Mm -hmm. This is how I was trained to go in this particular direction, mm -hmm. but it doesn't like I had a, another practitioner one of my colleagues she would do a question mark and then the dot was there under the, the arm so oh, okay. it was like this and it doesn't have to be both sides it could just be one um and even if you just start with your heart you know and mm -hmm. if you're in public and you don't feel like you want to show yeah, and yeah. bring all the attention to yourself as you're tapping and thinking people are, people are going to think I'm crazy, then <laughs> you can just tap your fingers. The outside of your fingers are also meridians. Okay. So you can just tap those. Oh, that's good. As hilarious. you're sitting under a, you know, if there's a desk and you're just tapping away and, you know, right. you but can just really visualize about, like, that releasing. Right. It's just about acknowledging it and then just saying it's okay, let it go until it goes away. So I really, yeah. I really love that. Now I had a feel good tip, which is learning the emotion behind essential oils can help you shift emotion. So we have mm -hmm. tapping, but you can also, you know, either intuitively pick, I always recommend, or just, you know, grabbing and grabbing an essential oil intuitively or looking it up and saying, Hey, this is what I'm feeling today. So I think that that also can help us a lot. Um, and we definitely do not want to stuff the emotion. Do you agree with that? <laughs> oh, very much so. It's just kind of, well, we, that's how I grew up was just to stuff it, buck it up. You got this, like, right. don't even worry about it. Just let it go. Um, don't even talk about it. It was taboo. Right. Right. I know. And then, and then, then now we're here and we're trying to get rid of all of those <laughs> emotions. So at least if we acknowledge it now, we can go forward in our lives and use these tools so that we don't get more trapped emotions. I love that. Um, I just wanted to know, was there a final message? I could do this with you all day, but I know that we have to, we only have 15 minutes, but um, what's your final message? Yes. It's that we don't realize from the clients that I've helped, from the people that I've helped over the years, we do not realize that it's just a tweak away. It's within a session or two and they're already having ahas. They're already having these moments of, 
Oh my gosh, all I have to do is this. Oh wow, I am now in touch with my purpose. I'm now in touch with my mission. I now can see clearly what I need to do to get there. Thank you. And it's just fabulous. So if we are struggling, if any of us are struggling, it's closer than you think. That happiness, that relief, that hope, that joy, it's closer than you think. Yes. And it's like we want to beat ourselves up all the time because we're not one way. So I really appreciate that you say it's like one, we're only one choice away. We're one activity away of improving the way that we feel on a daily basis. So if you want to reach out to Haley, you can either email her at HaleyWillaby.com or you can go to Haley Willoughby at G. Um, oh, yeah. Haley Willoughby dot com is your website and people can also reach you there correct yeah that's right okay well i will drop you in the green room and we will chat um so thank you again so much for being an encore guest of mine i adore you and thank you so much for the work that you do thank you it's been <laughs> wonderful thank you so it wasn't that wonderful. I absolutely love that woman. So thank you so much for joining us. And just to remind you that I do offer a free consultation for emotion, body, um, and belief code practitioner to help you get rid of those trapped emotions. And remember that you are loved and it is your choice to feel good daily. Nobody can do it for you. Thank you. See you next week. Every time. You can learn more about my services and products at happyhealing.me. Make sure to join me every week on the SWE Media Network YouTube channel and wherever you listen to podcasts.